when we're using these tinted sealers, we want to make absolutely sure that if he coats too far ahead of me and it dries, and then I come over and pass the T-bar over it, I'm going to have two coats in one area. And you get that halo effect running around the wood, okay? So that's not what we want. So like I said, on that first coat, I'm going to have my cut man, as soon as I start to pull away, he's just going to move in, take care of anything that I left up against the wall. A little turn mark, all right? He's going to cut small, but he's not going to cut ahead of me. The only time he's going to cut ahead of me is I don't want to take and pour a line of finish on bare wood. What I want to do, what Clint's going to do, is we're going to start it's going to give us a nice big pancake right there. He's going to saturate his cutting pad and he's going to give me a nice cut all the way down the wall. Then he's going to pour his finish right into that line. Okay? He's going to pour it into that wet line. Has anybody ever taken your finish and you pour it out and then you come back the next day and you can almost see that ghost of exactly where you poured that? Okay, this will eliminate that. Sometimes when you're doing that, you're pulling tanning kind of quick, all right? So what we want to do is make sure that the first thing we do is lay out that nice line for me to work with, but also where he's going to pour his line. Another thing about the T-bar. Some guys like to get in, I think it even says it in our book. They like to get in where they come, they make that turn, they get down here, and before they pull away, they do one of these. They put it down and they wring it out, okay? This is foam, all right? This blue foam here is called a reservoir. This is where the finish is gonna get built up. These white fibers is what's actually gonna apply it to the floor. All right, as long as this doesn't become overly saturated, I'm not going to have that, the, the need to keep squeezing it out, okay? The only way it's going to become oversaturated is if Clint lays out a huge line and all of a sudden I'm just, I'm just going after finish, you know what I mean? I'm just keeping, keep chasing finish, where I don't want to do that. I just want to apply finish nice and even. When you pick up the T-bar, it shouldn't be dripping and dropping. If this becomes overly saturated, okay, as I'm pulling and pulling away, I'm leaving drips and drops. Now, if it's a tough dry day, you know, if we got some air that we can't control or anything, those drips and drops might not go away. The other thing you got to remember now is we're working with some tinted sealer, Amber Seal, Nordic Seal. So we just want to be a little on the careful side. So it's just a nice, easy walk, okay? I'm not going to need to feather out too much. Clint's just going to come in from behind me, take out any turn marks that I have, anything that I can't get up against the wall. When Clint is uh, doing this, he's going to cut small. He's not going to cut out two feet like he's doing right now. He's just going to cut out a little bit. That's it. Okay. So like I said, when we're working with tinted sealers, we want to take our time, be a little extra careful. We're not going to do a lot of pressure with my hands here. I'm just fingertip pressure. Make my turn. If I am working alone, okay, I'm going to make a few passes and I'm going to put my applicator down and I'm going to take out some of my turn marks. When you put your applicator down, you want to put it in the wet and you want to put it going with the grain. I don't want to put it down here. You know what I mean? I don't want to put it down dry and going against the grain. You always want to keep everything when you set it down, if you are working alone, going with the grain.
Couple other things when you're using the T-bar. The best way to gauge your square footage and how many square feet we're gonna get out of a gallon is the speed of the applicator. We want you to use a lightweight applicator when you're doing water-based finish. Heavyweight applicator when you're doing oil-based finish. The trick is, is if you think you're coming up short, you think you're putting it down too heavy, you might be walking a little too fast. If you think you're going the other way, you might be walking a little too slow. Give me a line here. The faster you walk with a T-bar, the heavier you're going to put it down. The slower you walk, the lighter. Now I know what everybody's thinking. That doesn't make sense. All right, think of when a car hydroplanes. What happens? You got rain on the rain on the road. You get going too fast. The tires get up on top of the water, leaving a film between the road and the tire. Correct? It's the same thing with a T-bar. The faster you go, the more she's going to ride up. The more she rides up, right? The heavier it's going to go down. You'd want to keep it wet. Absolutely. Yep. Uh, that makes a great point. Okay. I can't stress enough to plan how you're going to run this. Okay to plan how you're going to work out of the house, out of the rooms, what sequence you're going to do this at, okay? You want to make sure, especially when you're working in multiple rooms that all end in a hallway, things like that, you really want to sit down and map out, okay? I, my son called me up a couple of months ago and he said, hey, can you, can you give me a hand? I'm pulling water base and it's about eight rooms, I need a little more. Right, yeah, yeah, definitely. So you wanna, you know, you wanna definitely plan your way out, how you're gonna get out of there. So you don't run into that, that issue.